Here it is, the 2022 New Holland T7 315 HD. But before we go and look at the cab, let's look around the exterior and see some of the other new features. Now these steps are a lot wider than the older model and uh, it gives a lot easier access uh, to the cab. Before we get in there, as I said, we'll look at one big thing. Uh, one big difference is the size of this entry point here where your feet go in. But anyway, you may notice the actual mud guards. And again, we can see that from inside better, but just to let you know, they've actually brought these down. So rather than being out and across, they've actually brought the actual uh, shape around and down to give a lot better vision. And it does make a big, big difference. Right, nice, clear and concise back end, nicely laid out. But for those of you that used to run the old Fords, here's something which I think is a fantastic um, system. And it's great to see its return after all these years. Got your spools in, no more pushing and tugging to try and release the pressure. No levers are back, look, release levers. Where have they been, you know? Um, I know a lot of people have been asking, myself included, you know, where are they gone? We, we could do, oh, you don't need them. Yeah, we do. And they've listened and they're back. <laughs> I like to see that. Right, so fender mounted controls. First off here, you've got your hitch control up and down on your link arms. You've also got um, the ability here to use your hydraulic top link if you've got one fitted. Um, and you can do that. So when you try to hook on a piece of equipment, you haven't got to keep going in and pulling leaves up. You can do it all from out here and get it onto the top link um, pin. You've got your obviously your PTO um, start on here. So you can, you know, once you've got it engaged, you want to just tweak it round. You can't get the shaft on. You can do that from here. But this one here is really good because if you're like running a pump on a slurry tank or something like that or a big unit, um, from inside the cab, you can set the engine speeds, two speeds. So you can have like idle and then a running speed. So once you've got the all your hoses and everything connected we'll say if we've gone for a slurry tank or something like that you can have it on at your idle if you press this that'll then rev up to your perhaps set parameter so maybe giving you 540 or whatever that can all be done from out here but this for me is one of the best things on this machine and it should be on all machines this one button is what it's all about for me. Now, there's a big, big difference between what we're meant to do on paper and the real world. When time is short and pressure is on, yes, you're meant to stop everything, get out of the machine every time. It, let's be honest, it doesn't happen. It's just the way things are. But in every other industry, be that construction, mining, the oil field, uh, earth moving, every machine has at least one kill switch. Why have we got as far as we have in agriculture and got away without having one? Now it's not to say others in the past haven't fitted them and that, but it hasn't ever caught on, has it? And it should, because as I said, the reality is that if somebody was here and you know, heaven forbid that they got trapped or caught and they can't get to the cab. They can push that and stop anything getting worse. Or if they were unconscious and somebody turns up, normally the people that turn up aren't from a farming background. They're just a passerby or whatever, a member of the public. They don't know what to press or turn off in there. There's an array of switches and levers and whatever. So that they're, you know, they don't know whether what to push could make something worse or they just panic. But at least with that, douche, and it kills it. Now, as I say, New Holland, I think have done a fantastic job with this. And um, yeah, it's, it's just amazing. One of the best features I've seen on a tractor. And I really think they should, you know, uh, have the recognition that this deserves. And I'd like to see this fitted on tractors throughout the industry, every manufacturer to fit this. Because if this makes the difference between somebody going home at night to their family or not, just because they, they were able to stop the tractor and carry on their work safely, then that's one of the best things ever fitted. 
other little things little um, LED lights on each uh, corner of each mudguard here um, reversing lights so not only can you use them as work lights every time you put it in reverse you get a light on that's brilliant because you know you're going into maybe a dark shed or you're backing up at stuff at night and you have to flick your work lights on then you flick your work lights off as soon as you put it in reverse they come on little things like that um, and you yeah you've seen that before on other machines and then it's disappeared again and like I said all these little innovations this is what progress is all about but at the moment as we stand here today New Holland seem to have a lot of this stuff in one package and that's the difference again down here on the front this is obviously fitted with a front linkage and PTO and you've got the ability to uh, raise and lower the link arms and again if you've got hydraulic top link running like on the service on there you can do it all at the front as well as the PTO to get it to turn if you're putting a shaft on so let's have a look at this cab like I said got a nice wider access uh, steps going up now so it's a lot easier to get up but also this wider part here so that was fairly narrow before now it's nice and wide uh, so it's really good access as you're getting in. Okay, so the first thing we'll do, let's have a look at this new cab and the new layout. Okay, now the easiest way to break this down, uh, we're we'll saying to three C's. Comfort configurability and connectivity so let's look at the first one comfort well, first off you got the seat now that seat I can assure you is one of the nicest seats in a tractor I've ever sat in and you know I just think that's just the way the cushions are uh, sculpted um, it's just nice and wide and it, it just supports you from every angle now for your passenger you got that so as i said this seat let's have a look at that first so really nice big for once passenger seat but more to the point that is a nice deep cooler box and it's big enough not just for cans but for bottles and so you've got a proper cooler box in here with a proper seal so everything stay cold that folds down you've also then got your in cab office and you got this here really nice uh, amount of storage here and it's also big enough to put your phone and all that in here and here plus any other electronic stuff you've got three point electrical socket here plus a usb now here's the other nice thing rather than normally if you've got charging cables and whatever they're not in here or you want something external out on here normally the doors nip the wires they've actually got a proper gap here so the wires can come through without getting trapped down the side of the seat there's plenty of room uh, there's actually a subwoofer down here which is phenomenal the stereo with this is amazing down the back here loads of room for your dinner bag there's an absolute raft of room here um, to put, you say, your bag, another flask, whatever, for a long day. Then coming across to the other side. So obviously you've got down here as well, you've got your foot throttle. Uh, down here, right tight to the back here, you've got an exhaust brake as well. If you look at the back of this throttle pedal, so we've got the cool box under the seat, but there's a little jack point at the back here. So you can have another cool box mounted there, fits in there. And you've got a power point for it. So you can actually double your cool box capacity in here. All your air vents are set so they demist and clear the windows quickly. So under this side of the seat, again, loads of storage here and a proper tray so things don't just slide forward. Over this side here, got some more uh, deep storage bins here with rubber mats in the bottom so stuff doesn't slide about. Um, this Obviously you've got a cup holder here, and it's a proper size cup holder, because these days a lot of people don't just have a cup. They'll have like a travel mug, a you know, a thermal mug, and this is big enough to take that. Up the top of the cab here, you've got this little area here, 
with a little net on the front for more storage. There's just storage everywhere. Okay, and up this bank up here, you've got uh, various other switches, cameras, your guidance and stuff like that. And you've got hazards. You've got your mirror controls here. So the mirror arms, they're telescopic. You can do it all from in here. And you can obviously alter each mirror. Uh, they're heated as well. Uh, you've got your stereo unit up here. So you've got uh, your USB point in there. Obviously it's Bluetooth. It's a brilliant little unit, DAB and whatever. Sound system in this is phenomenal. And you've got a subwoofer, as we said below, the seat on the left-hand side as well. And then under the armrest itself, you've got a storage area here. Uh, and again, that has got uh, a USB charging point. Now this new cab, is actually uh, wider than the old one as well. Uh, and they've also here, they've moved the wiper here because the mounting for the wiper was up here. It's now down there. They've been able to bring this up and the wiper then, the arc is that way, which gives a, a better, much better um, actual clearing uh, area. But the biggest thing for this cab, by a country mile, is how quiet it is. 66 decibels this is best on the market and it is really noticeable now at the moment i'm talking quite loud but here's the best thing i can talk quite softly and you can still hear me that's the difference it is at automotive levels this is like car levels and you know you notice it especially on the road that's when tractors are actually the noise is when they're on the road so you've got all the tire noise the road noise vibrations whatever when you're out in the field and you've got her you know opened up and she's working on like draft work and they've got that just that perfect note the, the sound drops away so day in and day out when you're in the field this makes a big big difference and said 66 decibels is absolutely nothing it, as i said it's hard to explain just how quiet this is it is honestly like having the door open and the door shut. That much difference. Well, that's how different it is, you know, sat in here than if you were sat in another maker tractor. There's that much difference in, in sound levels. It's so, so quiet. Now, for those of you that have already seen some of the uh, PR and all the push for the, with the new T7 315HD, um, one thing I think has stood out to a lot of people and that's this. So, the engine display uh, and all your information, as well as transmission and uh, your linkage, is set here on this version in the center of the steering wheel. Now this is an option and the standard fitment is actually back here behind the steering wheel. I know what most of you are thinking. Exactly the same thing that I thought. A, that's a bit strange, having it there. I mean, having a display, you know, right in front of you. I mean, heaven forbid that you'd have a display screen in front of your face. Now, on the earlier T7s, um, one or two people commented that with the old uh, instrument binnacle down there, you have to look through the steering wheel right down into this, almost the depths of the... Uh, dashboard to see anything. Um, can't remember who that was. You know, with this, the wheel where it is, I'm still sort of covering a lot of it with my hand and I'm looking down and through the steering wheel. So New Holland have obviously listened and put it right in front of you where you want to see it. Like I say though, I was just the same. I know what you're all thinking. And some people have even said it, you know, you're going to catch though. You're going to catch your sleeves or catch your hands on this. You're going to. But that just isn't so. I don't know how they've done it, whether it's how they've obviously thought of the angles and everything and where it's sat and how it's shaped. Let me assure you, that isn't an issue. Okay, so let's, let's try it out, okay? So, you're backing into a shed or something like that. You just, uh, it's actually set in the steering wheels up beyond it so it's, but 
people have said, and exactly the same as I thought, yeah, but if you've got big sleeves on a jacket or a pair of overalls, you're gonna catch on the corners or something. Right, well, let's put that to the test. Right, let's do the big sleeve test. Let's do the really big sleeve test. So that's... It, it just... It just doesn't catch. It can't catch. They're just... I don't know, they're just the corners of the way it's angled. So like the only way you're gonna really catch your sleeve on that is if you went to work dressed as a wizard. So they've obviously thought it out really, really well. Now, when this first arrived and they said, look, this is the option, uh, standard, it comes behind the steering wheel. I thought, well, that's good because I wouldn't want this. Um, my sleeves are gonna catch or it's just too, you know. Um, so I'm glad they've got the, the, the standard being behind. Let me assure you, after an hour of having this, I, I wouldn't want it anywhere else. Okay, the second C, configurability. Basically, like everything in this day and age, whether it be a burger or, you know, a kitchen unit, everyone's like, well, you have it your way. You know, we'll do it how you want it. And I certainly no different with tractor manufacturers. Now, with the New Holland, uh, you've got everything you want all up on here. Fantastic large display, very clear, you know, and easy to use and to follow. To the point that I forgot everything I was told about how to operate this, but I figured it out within 10 minutes. I think people's biggest fear is if they press something that they'll go into something else that they can't get out of. That's just not the case. Because if you go to this, for instance, here, here's the controls, all your spools, all right? And they're color coded to the spool colors on the rear. But if, for example, I'm driving this and that's how I've got it set. I've got the orange one on valve number five and I've got the pink one here on valve two, but my mate gets in here and he doesn't like it that way. He likes it the other way round. Well, he hasn't got to climb out and start swapping my pipes about, which would really annoy me. He can leave them where they are, how I like them, but, right. He's got the first one on valve five. Well, he got that on valve two. Puts it on the valve two. And look, it's gone blue. Or let's just say he wanted valve three. And that's now yellow. So you can change it all from up here. And once you've got it set, you can then ch change this to the operator. So you could put in there, you know, Mux controls or Dave's controls or whatever, and they'd press it and everything would be set how you prefer it. That easy. For sake of argument, we've got on here, you can go through uh, on the screens here. So you've got all your engine eyes, you've got a camera, you can set that camera, you've got rear camera on at the moment, uh, just how we've got it configured. You've then got all your, uh, with your GPS and everything, and your ISO bus. We'll go back to that later. All your area, working area, uh, fields, uh, you know, sizes and how much you've done, how much you've got to do. Front camera. Again, you've got all your uh, guidance on here. How you work all that. And obviously the ISO bus, as I said, we'll go back to that. There we are, you've got your settings, diagnostics, productivity, just on a, like a flow chart. It's so, so it, you cannot get it wrong. Obviously you've got your transmission and uh, linkage, all that display is up on there. But everything you want is on this screen. It's brilliant. And as I said, it is so, so easy. If, if I can follow it through, anyone can. And again, people are like, oh yeah, but oh, there's all these here, and then there's all this and that. Right, 
starting with your main controller here, so straightforward, and you've again got options, however you prefer to use it. So you can use it on the joystick, you can set it just with these buttons here, forward and reverse, you've got forward and reverse here on this shuttle, if you prefer that, you've got options there. On this multi-controller here, which is uh, an option, very, very good though. If you were running, uh, people saying, you know, if you had it on a, on a um, clamp, on a buck rake, front and rear, or front and rear mowers, you can do your front linkage, rear linkage, all off this, forward and reverse, speeds, everything. All, all on here, on this one controller. Absolutely fantastic. Um, following on with, you know, New Holland's simple uh, layout, I always say how to remember it all is, if it's orange, it's to do with speed and motion, forward and reverse. If it's black, it's to do with hydraulics, flow and linkage. And if it's yellow, it's PTO. That, that's it. Can't be any more simple than that. Again, you've got all your settings here, which you can go into for your fan speeds and blower and temperature. You can set that all, uh, configure that to how you want it to be. Really, really nice thing. If you, once you settle your spools on here, slide that forward, put that down, it covers them. Just like a little safety feature. Very, very simple. Again, the, then the armrest, you can alter that. Again, what f you know suits you, um, up or down. This display, swing it round here, swing it round there. <clears throat> you got mounting points for other um, boxes, you know, control boxes or screens, already here on big round mounts. So that's really, really good. Plus, you got power points. Um, as I said, you just configure this to exactly how you want it and then you can set it and save it all for how you want it And if you are running two drivers on it or multiple drivers, they can do the same So you haven't got to get in oh, he's Messing with my stuff again and what's he got that just go no my one click and everything goes back to how you have it set Okay, and now the final C connectivity as an example, Isobus. So like the likes of Isobus, obviously that system, you can connect to other machines, uh, other software, um, and obviously you can have stuff mounted up here. So all ties in, you're not just uh, one manufacturer's standalone system. And the nice thing is this is all uploaded, you know, uh, all the files can be uploaded. Um, and with the telematics you've got, if you've got any issues, uh, you can get the dealer to dial into what you're seeing real time and, you know, hopefully diagnose any issues you've got or talk you through something because they can see what you're seeing. But, um, like I said, it's not their own, you know, special thing. Having Isobus, uh, as I said, allows you to work with all other equipment, time with all other um, data programs you've got and whatever. It's really, really good. You know, it, it's a, it's a no-brainer, really is. So... Although there was a lot to take in, believe me, that was just a brief overview. As I always say, with what, whatever it is I'm looking at, it's just to give you a taste, a flavour. That's all it is. There's so much more I can tell you about this, but the best way is to look at one yourself. Then you can see all the other things they've got, all the other features, phenomenal features they've got on these. Um, but like I said, you can just go on and you could look at, oh, you could be here for days, it's fantastic. But I always do like to get uh, another viewpoint. And uh, in this instance, uh, I managed to get Jonathan and Jay to come along and give me their view on the T7 315. Right, so we've got Jonathan. Now Jonathan's pedigree, is he was brought up with uh, Ford tractors and went on to Ford New Hollands and uh, then he uh, gone to the dark side. Then we've got Jay, and Jay, well Jay's basically been Ford, Ford New Holland, New Holland, and now the current uh, breed with the 270. So you've uh, you had a, a year or two on the blue stuff, haven't you? One or two. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so really, I want to know, 
what you boys thought. It's definitely a big improvement over the old model, I think. Right, yeah. Sort of just brought, yeah. yeah brought, In what, brought, what respect? What's... Um, everything's up to date. The cab's definitely bigger, obviously. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah without a doubt. But yeah, all in all, yeah, the, cat, the controls, especially like this in the dashboard uh, display. Now, that is good. Yeah. When I first got in it, I didn't think that was very practical. But look, now after using it, that really is, yeah, it's better than on the side, definitely. What about, I know, you know, it's different things on the roads, different, and, and, and in the field is different. But what about noise wise? I mean, put your foot flat out, what do you think? I mean, I very, think. That, I mean, we genuinely. I mean, I, I don't know another track that I've been been able to just communicate this at this level. Especially up here on the concrete, it's probably noisy, noisy than tarmac, isn't it? But yeah. yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely quiet. So, so quiet. Yeah, very good. Very easy to use as well. You know, quite simple on the screen and controls. You know, it's yeah. I think anyone could jump in it and drive it. To be honest. Yeah. Um, when you first get in it, you sort of think you do take a few seconds to think, what will that do? But you know, yeah, it's very, that's very straightforward, uh, I think. Yeah, and intuitive, isn't it? Yeah, you can't. Let's be honest, you can't really fault it. There's a good visibility out the back window as well. This is something that they've done. They have lowered the back window, so you. I mean, it is like being sat almost in a big high-rise building, isn't it? <laughs> when you it is though, when you have big old glass panels. Yeah, yeah. And that's the nice thing because they've done that. It's definitely. Yeah, you can notice the visibility. Out it's good, but definitely getting out of that 270 into this one, you can, yeah, there's a, a massive improvement. Yeah, in the cab, oh, yeah, yeah. Feel, width, you know, the width and just feels, yeah, a different track than ready to be honest. Um, but so, yeah, all right, all in all, very good, I think. Yeah, very good. So this is the 270, but this, this is, is, what year is this? This is a 2021. It was new home to us in the April. So that's the, basically the outgoing um, version that it was on the, the 315, this cab. Yes. Yeah, so, but what, you said something to me the other day about the, you can actually physically show the size difference. Yes, if you sit in the seat, hold your arms out, you see, you can physically touch the windows either side. Right, so here we have the cab on the 315. As you can see... You're having to stretch now. I'm having to stretch now to actually reach the windows. So there is a... There is a there almost is a, like a hands difference. Almost a hands difference. Yeah. And that's just on the side pillars. Um, we now have room behind the seat as well. You can actually stick your coat down there without it getting yeah. all crumpled up. So... There you go, Jay. What do you reckon? What's your just overall impression? What's, what do you overall think? Overall impression, um, first of all, I've got to say, the screen and the steering wheel, I didn't quite know what to make of that when I saw it all advertised. I don't think any of us did. Um, I found that you actually don't take a lot of notice of it when you're actually driving the tractor, yeah. um, but it's there. It's there where it's visible. Um, having a T8 on farm, we don't actually have the screen in the steering wheel. The screen is actually the in the dash. The back there, yeah. Um, what you tend to find is to be able to see that, you tend to set your steering wheel where you're not comfortable. It's not where you normally okay. sit. You tend to have it, you perhaps have it a little lower so then you can actually see the screen. So, so having it there. Having it there is a positive. Yeah. Um, the thing that jumps out at you about this tractor is the noise level in the cab. That's physically quieter than what the existing T7 cabs are. But that is noticeable, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's night and day. It's like you referred to before, it's like having the cab door open and the cab door shut. It is that much different. I, 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 I think that's something that's one of those things again where you can say what you like on video, you can write it in a review, you can, you know, do whatever you like. The best way to do it is, like I always try and encourage people, no matter what colour you're looking at, if you look at, you know, as many options as possible, you do see things. And I think anyone that does try this cab on this New Holland, like on the say the 290 and the 315 HD, I think the the, the sound level, 66 decibels, I think they'll they will be really surprised, pleasantly surprised.
initial thing, because I said, you've gone from be, you know, driving something else now for a lot of years to having to go in this. So it's different for you, totally. Totally different, yeah. I think, yeah, like I said before, I think it's uh, yeah, definitely a big improvement over the old ones. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, they're really up, up the game, I think. Yeah. Um, you can't, yeah, I can't really fault it. Like I said, the only maybe, while they, because they made the cab a little bit wider, the back pillar's wider, I think, while they were doing it, maybe they could have just made the front screen a little wider as well. The two front pillars. The pillars, just move them, them out a bit. Just, yeah, a yeah. just a touch. Yeah. But um, apart from that, um, yeah. I There's always room for improvement, whatever. You can pick holes in anything, but yeah, I think overall, yeah. I love the dashboard in the steering wheel. I think that's really good. Yeah. Visibility out of the back windows, good. Yeah. Because I drop that down. Um, but yeah. It's, 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 I think, you know, you're going to get people that obviously will always say, no matter what, whether it's this video or another one they're watching, oh yeah, my so-and-so, so-and-so had that years, they had that system years, or they had that little detail hmm. years ago. But <clears throat> that's just how things progress, isn't it? That's how everything does it. You know, people, somebody leaps ahead, somebody then, catch, everybody else sort of catches up, then, you know what I mean? And that's, that's why we're, we're where we are now, isn't it? Because without that, we'd still be stuck on something like a grey Fergie. So, I don't, there's you know. nothing wrong with the old model, but I think... You've got to move forward. Yeah, move forward. I always found the cab a bit tight on the older models compared yeah. with the competitors, but with this one, I think, yeah, they really have brought it on. I think the, you know. the biggest thing I think, though, which I think a lot of manufacturers in the past, yeah, they've brought new stuff out, but for the sake of just bringing out something newer than the competitors. Whereas I think everything on this, this is the difference. I think everything on this is there for a reason. Something I just thought, I know it's a tiny little thing, but the hand troll, I just think that could be a bit more robust. In fact, the model that you've got, the one that's gone out, that seemed to have a bit more of a, a th sort of thumb um, area, didn't it? Yes, it the, did. That one seemed to be very, I mean, that's perfectly adequate for me. That's just something I thought could be improved. I mean, what do you, where would you go? Something that they, if you could say to them, like, this needs improvement, what would... Position of the exhaust brake. They've gone back to oh, what right. the early 7.6 mm. tens had. As dual power. As dual power <laughs> on your left heel, and to me, they've gone backwards. So that could be, that could be changed, yeah. yeah, yeah. The natural thing for most people is they're in a panic situation, they're going for a clutch and a brake together. Yeah. Or, as in most of the New Hollands now, what are out currently, you go for the exhaust brake and the brakes together. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is positioned right next to the clutch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so, right, on the flip side of that, we've said the things that we could probably find to improve, um, nothing major, and all right, your favorite, your favorite part of it, the bit that stood out to you the most in that, in that tractor? I, the, the console in the steering wheel, yeah. That display. The display, yeah, the yeah. display, in the, yeah. For me, yeah. Visibility out the back of the tractor, by far. And that, yeah. Okay, well, that was well, the, well, the deep, yeah, that's window, that deep windows. That the deep no, windows, no, just, yes, yeah. no. I, you know what? I'm, I'm yeah. for me, very similar. I'm going to say, with without doubt, the oh, that that display. The thing I thought was going to be the the bit would really annoy me became they, the, the bit yeah, I no. loved the most was that display in the centre, and I think just how quiet it was. You just what just what a place to be. So, 
There we go, muckers. T7, 315. Um, there was a lot went into that. Took a lot of time to do, but it was well worth it. Really enjoyed it. Um, in fact, the film was one of my favourite ones, I think, so far. Um, just had a, had a good time doing it. And going on for this year, we've got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff happening on the channel. Um, I'd like to be able to tell you about it, but I can't, because even I don't know at the moment. We're just in the middle of so much and putting so much in place. But um, it, it'll be good. Now, I was filming with Matt yesterday, with the Matadors. So we've got some more Matador stuff coming up. We're going to have a bit of a catch up, show you what's been going on in the last few months with each of the various Matadors. Um, some you've seen before, some you haven't. Now, before we go too far, see, I was following both this and you yeah. to that said rally. Yes. You weren't sparing the, you know, the horses at all, were you? Do you think you may have caused some of that problem? None of it. None of it. None, nothing to do with you nothing whatsoever. Else. No. No, so right, you've got the old death knock. I've got the death knock, right. Yeah. Had a good time down there, uh, as ever. And um, we've got one or two good things coming up with <laughs> Matadors this year. So if you're not up to speed with what we've got going on, be it with the Matadors and um, uh, trucks and obviously all the various tractors, both mine and the Fud Weasels and whatever, um, just go, go back into my library, the videos, and some of the playlists, you can do it there. Will it starts, always getting asked about will it starts, and we've got some good ones coming up this year. Um, so it's just a case of getting out on location and sticking a battery on, I think, and we'll see what we can do. Now, once you've caught up with all my videos, um, get up to speed with those, then uh, go and have a look what George has been up to, and obviously then, uh, obviously Kimberly, what she's been doing, and the old Fud Weasel. Um, George and I are going to be filming stuff uh, for Talking Point, plus we're going to do some more podcasts on there as well, if you haven't already gone and listened to those. So, just so much going on. But, um, yeah, like I say, um, when I know a bit more with what's going on with this channel and where we're going and, you know, don't worry, everything's not going to change drastically to get better, I suppose. We've got, do, you know, we've got better opportunities coming up, which is really, really good, really exciting. But uh, we'll be able to do more stuff in the workshop. We'll be able to go out uh, out and about on site and at various uh, locations. More of that. So, uh, yeah. Got all that stuff coming up. But as I said, when I know more, I'll let you know. What? Come on then. Oops. <sighs> what? Is it that time again? Yes, it is. Well, it looks like it is. So, until the next one. Do well.